the message this morning is about activating unlimited divine favor kufanyisha kazi kibali cha Mungu kisichokuwa na cha kiungu activating kufanyisha kazi unlimited divine favor kibali cha Mungu ambacho hakina mwisho a church i want to tell us this morning kanisa ningependa kuambia ni asubuhi it is important ni vema sana that we plug in kwamba tuweze kuweka praise the name of the living god hallelujah to god's unlimited favor tukaweze kujiingiza katika kibali cha Mungu ambacho kina mwisho are you ready to plug in je uko tayari kujiingiza are you ready to plug in uko tayari kujiweka to the unlimited favor kwa kibali ambacho kina mwisho god is releasing bwana anachilia unlimited favor kibali kisichokuwa na mwisho in your life katika maisha yako can you tell your brother nataka kumwambia ndugu yako can you tell your sister dada yako you are highly favored Ume, una kibali cha juu. Amen. Hallelujah. Say I am highly favored. Sema nina kibali cha juu. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Let's open our Bibles. Mungu bibilia zetu. The book of Psalms 102. Zaburi 102 Psalms 102 verse 13. Zaburi 102:13. This was a servant of God. Walikuwa mtumishi wa Mungu. He was crying. Alikuwa analia. He was devastated. Alikuwa amevunjika moyo. He didn't know what to do. Hakujua cha kufanya. He felt as if he was in a desert. Aliisli kama kwa jagua, jagua. And as if his hope had gone. Na kwamba ni kama matumaini yake yalikuwa yamepotea. And in the midst of the verse, na katika uh, ule mstari, these are the words. Ha ndo maneno yake. That he spoke. Aliyoyanena. Psalms 102 and verse 13. Zaburi 102:13. You will arise and have compassion on Zion for it is time to show favor on her the appointed time has come why it's written if a Zion kwa sababu inaandikwa Zion put your name weka jina lako why it's written her mali pamandikwa yeye just say me sema mimi like this Come you on. will arise and have compassion upon Kaberere for it is time to show favor to him or to me The appointed time has come. Wewe we, Yeah, let's read together. Wewe mwenyewe utasimama na kuinilemu mimi kaburu kwa maana ndio wakati wa ule ulimwiliwa na majira yaliyomriwa. Amen. Let's appreciate the Lord of Lords. Tumpigie bwana makofi. I've been speaking about experiencing divine favor. Nimekuwa nikinena kuhusu kuweza kuhisi kibali cha Mungu. And this is the third week. Na ile wiki ya tatu. The first week I spoke about experiencing divine favor. Wiki ya kwanza nenda kuhusu kuhisi kibali cha cha ya cha kiungu. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. 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 And also last Sunday we continued with the favor. Wiki jana tukaendelea na kibali. And I defined what is favor in the first service that is the first week. Na nikaelezea kuhusu kibali katika ibada ya kwanza. And I say the favor Nikasema kibali is getting what you don't deserve. Nikupata kile ambacho haustahili. Amen. Hallelujah. Favor kibali is getting what you don't deserve. Nikupata kile ambacho haustahili. You don't deserve that job. Haustahili kuwa na ile kazi. You don't deserve to get that, that job. Haustahili kupata ile kazi. But the favor of God, lakini kibali cha Mungu, will make you get that job. Kitakufanya uipate ile kazi. You don't deserve that promotion. Hauhitaji kukwezwa. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. You don't deserve that salary increment. Hauhitaji kuongezwa mshahara. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't deserve that contract. Hauhitaji ile kandarasi. But I'm here to tell us. Lakini kwamba kuambieni, when the favor of the Lord is upon you, kibali cha Mungu kinapokuwa juu yako, people will not sleep. Watu hawatalala until they fulfill what they have been assigned to do. Mpaka watimize kile ambacho wameambiwa watimize. And I hope there is someone saying amen. Na tumai kuna mtu anasema amina. If you don't have a job, kama hauna kazi, say that job is mine. Sema ile kazi ni yangu. If you need a business, iwapo unahitaji kazi, say that contract is mine. Sema ile kandarasi ni yangu. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Why? Kwa nini? Favor make you succeed Ki- when others are struggling. Kibali ukufanya unanawiri wakati wengine wanapochindwa. Oh hallelujah. Chacha we together. Kanisa tuko pamoja. I am saying favor 
Nasema kibari will make you succeed kitakufanya kuendelea when others are struggling wakati wengine wanangangana hallelujah hallelujah and I want to tell us this morning nataka kuambia asubuhi leo it is god prerogative ni mpangilio wa mungu hallelujah to arise and favor us kwa kuinuka kuin, kuin na kutupatia kibali it is god prerogative ni kusudi la mungu for god to arise kwa yeye kuinuka and favor you na kukupatia kibali hallelujah hallelujah that is his responsibility hilo ni jukumu la mungu that is that is his possession huo ni msimamo wa mungu he made david alimfanya daudi he touched david akamguza daudi who was just a shepherd boy aliyekuwa tu mchungaji and favored him na kampea kibali hallelujah hallelujah and when samuel went to anoint the person who was to be anointed when he went to the house of jesse he found good men he found good candidates ready for that appointment but the bible tells me hallelujah the spirit of the lord said no and they and he asked is there another one in your office they may they ask is there another one in your family they may ask is there another one hallelujah hallelujah praise the name of the living god hallelujah and they said there is a small boy taking care of his father's sheep he said bring him akasema mleteni hapa and Samuel said Samuel akasema we are not going to stand we are not going to sit down tutaketi until that boy arrives paka yule kijana afike hapo in other word maneno mengine fever can take you from where you are you know, mahali ambapo hujulikani a place where you are not known kibali kinaweza kukutoa mahali ambapo hapajulikani na hujulikani to a place of prominence katika mahali pa kujulikana and may that happen in Jesus name watu walifanyika katika jina la Yesu praise the name of the living god hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you may not be the best in your family. You may not be the best in your workplace. But I want to tell you the favor will locate you. So the question is how do we activate favor? Tunaifanyisha kazi vipi kile kibali cha Mungu? We can number one before we go now to that i'm just giving you as an analysis there are two ways we can activate god's favor you can wait on god's favor to come at the appointed time and we see god's favor came upon david and when he was touched by the favor he was taken to the place of prominence and he was anointed the king of israel the other point you can activate or trigger favor you can activate favor praise the name of the living god hallelujah there is that god prerogative right kuna ile 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 kuzudi ya to give us favor ya kupatia kibali but also on the other side you can activate favor na kwa upande mwingine pia wewe mwenyewe unaweza kufanyisha kibali kazi in mathio chapter 9 madhayo 9 there was a woman palikuwa na mwanamke who activated favor in her life aliyefanyisha kibali maisha ni mwaka kazi and the bible tells me na biblia niambia this lady was sick for 12 good years huyo dada alikuwa mgonjwa miaka 12 she went to the best doctors aliwaendea madaktari walio bora in the land katika nchi praise the name of the living god hallelujah she looked for the best solution alitafuta suluhu ya ambayo ni bora but she didn't have any solution Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She spent all her wealth. Alitumia mali yake yote. She spent all her money. Akatumia pesa zake zote. She spent all her resources. Akatumia rasilimali zake zote. And she became broke. Na akawa hana chochote. But one day 
Lakini siku moja she had akasikia there is someone called Jesus kuna mtu anaitwa Yesu and he is passing by na anapitia I want to tell you this morning nataka kuambia asubuhi leo of someone who is here kuhusu mtu ambaye yuko hapa and he is called Jesus na ambaye anaitwa Yesu you can touch him this morning unaweza kumgusa asubuhi leo in the name of Jesus hallelujah when she heard about it aliposikia hilo praise the name of the living god hallelujah she prepared herself akajianda because she knew maana alijua if i stay at home nikikaa nyumbani jesus will come yesu atakuja and he will continue with his journey na atendelea na safari yake but i thank god lakini nashukuru mungu she prepared herself alijianda started running akaanza kukimbia started running akaanza kukimbia she went akaenda and touched the hem of jesus christ and instantly na ghafla bin vu because of provoking favor kwa sababu ya kukibali hapa jesus turned to her yesu kamwangalia and she was told akaambiwa daughter Dada. your faith has made you whole imani yako imekupoa praise the name of the living god hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. so it is good to wait on god's favor ni vizuri kukojea kibali cha because it will come but there are times lakini kuna wakati mwingine we have to activate god's favor lazima tusukume kibali cha for the bible says maana maandiko yanasema from the days of john the baptist the kingdom of god suffered violence and the violence shall take it by force there are things we must take by force hallelujah hallelujah there are blessings kuna baraka that are there ambazo ziko pale child of god na kama mtoto wa mungu you must take them by force lazima usichukue kwa haraka kwa nini he who is in you manake yule kondani yako he who is in me aliye ndani yangu is greater than he who is in this world in jesus name so be action oriented man or person kuwa mtu wa kuchukua hatua so today this morning asubuhi leo today's message ujumbe wa siku ya leo will help us utatusaidia understand four ways kuelewa njia nne on how we can activate the genes ambazo tunaweza kufanyisha kazi trigger god's favor ama kushtua kibali cha mungu number 1 jambo la kwanza number 1 la kwanza to activate god's favor kushtua kibali cha mungu number 1 walk in holiness and righteousness tembea katika utakatifu na haki can i hear people saying amen sikia watu wakisema amina walk in holiness and righteousness tembea kwa haki na na katika utakatifu psalms 5 verse 2 yeah five, 5 verse 12 zaburi 5 psalms 5 and verse 12 zaburi 5 12 the bible says biblia inasema for you o lord will bless who mwenye haki will bless the righteous for you o oh lord will bless the righteous with the favor you will surround him with a shield in other word kwa maneno mengine god is looking for a righteous person mungu anatafuta mwenye haki and when he finds a righteous person akimpata aliye mwenye haki the bible says biblia yasema he will surround him or her atamzingira with the favor kwa kibali hallelujah hallelujah when we hunger wakati tunakuwa na kiu when we thirst tunapokuwa na kiu na njaa for righteousness ya utakatifu the bible says biblia inasema that god will fill us bwana atatujaza amen hallelujah to receive god's favor kupokea kibali cha mungu be connected to him kuwa umeingonika na yeye amen hallelujah be connected to him kuwa umeunganishwa na yeye how do you connect get connected with god unaunganishwa vipi na mungu receive him as your lord and savior unampokea kama mwokozi wa maisha you may be there unaweza kuwa pale you may be here unaweza kuwa hapa but you need divine connection lakini unahitaji kuunganishwa kwa kiungo get to know jesus christ as your personal savior pastor kujua kwamba kristo yesu ni mwokozi wako praise the name of the living god hallelujah the other point ingine be filled with the holy spirit jazwa na roho mtakatifu hallelujah hallelujah it is still walking and ha- you know walking in holiness and righteousness ni katika pia hali ya kutembea katika haki na utakatifu so before you walk in holiness and righteousness kabla ya kutembea katika haki na utakatifu be connected with god unganishwa na mungu be filled with the holy spirit jazwa na roho mtakatifu for jesus christ is said maana yesu akasema hallelujah hallelujah the spirit of the lord is upon me kwa maana wa mungu yuko juu yangu 
because he has anointed me to preach the gospel before Jesus Christ preached the gospel the Holy Spirit was upon him and that is why he was effective throughout his life church of Jesus Christ the body of Jesus Christ we need the Holy Spirit we need the power of the Holy Spirit we need the power of the Holy Spirit, the 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 Holy Spirit. may he rest upon us now May he rest upon you now in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the living God. He will guide us. He will anoint us. He will comfort us. He will protect us. Hallelujah. And the other one, now you walk in righteousness and stay away from sin. Walk in righteousness and stay away from sin. Praise the name of the living Hallelujah. God. So I have said, walk in holiness and righteousness. Be connected with God. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Walk in righteousness and holiness and stay away from sin. For the Bible says, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. Behold, the old has passed away. And he is a new person. Second Corinthians 5, 17. Amen. Hallelujah. We go to point number two. Activating God's favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you tell your brother, your sister? Today, Leo. activate unlimited divine favor in your life. Number two. Honesty and hard work activates God's favor. Uaminifu na kufanya kazi kwa bidii unafanya kibali cha Mungu kifanya kazi. Honesty and hard work activates God's favor. Uaminifu na kufanya kazi kwa bidii kunafanya kibali cha Mungu kinafanya kazi. Genesis 39. Mwanzo 39 and verse 2. Eh mstari wa pili. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, maandiko yanasema, The Lord was with Joseph so that he Prospered. Bwana alikuwa na Bwana akawa pamoja na Yusufu naye akastawi. You may have wisdom. Unaweza kuwa na hekima. You may have skills. Unaweza kuwa na ujuzi. You may have many things. Unaweza kuwa na mambo mengi sana. But I want to tell us this morning. Lakini nataka kuambia ni asubuhi. Beside all these things. Kanda na mambo haya. We need God. Tunamhitaji. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when God is in us. Na wakati Mungu ako ndani. When we are doing our work. Tunapoifanya kazi yetu. He will cause us to have favor with the people. Atafanya tuwe na kibali na watu. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. And he lived in the house of Egyptian master. Na aliishi katika nyumba ya mkoloni uh, wa Misri. Yeah, this is you remember Joseph was sold. Kumbuka ya Yusufu alikuwa ameuzwa. And now he was taken to Potiphar's uh, house. Akapelekwa katika nyumba ya Potiphar. And when he went, went to Potiphar's house, alipokuwa pale katika nyumba ya Potiphar, he just went as a slave. Alienda kama mtumwa. Probably just as a you know, as a, as a you know, just as a shamba boy. Kama kijana wa shambani. But look what happens now. Angalia nini kinafanyika sasa. Verse 3 says when his master saw that the Lord was with him and that the Lord gave him success in everything he did Joseph found favor in his eyes and became his attendant Potiphar put put him in charge of his household. And he, he entrusted to his care everything he owned. From the time he put him in charge of his household and all that he owned. Praise the name of the living God. So Joseph had the favor of God. Yusufu alikuwa na kibali cha Mungu. Beside the favor of God, kando na kibali cha Mungu. Joseph was honest. Yusufu alikuwa mwaminifu. Can you say honest? Sema mwaminifu. He was not stealing. 
Hakuwa mwizi. That is why he was favored. Ndio maana alipewa kibali. And then next thing Joseph worked hard. Yusufu alifanya kazi kwa bidii. And this is an area I want to dwell a bit. Na hapa ndo maana mali nataka nitulie kidogo. Because in our Christian life, manaka kwa maisha ya Kristo, it's good to be born again. Ni vyema kuokoka. It's good to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Ni vyema kujaza na Roho Mtakatifu. But sometimes when we go to our offices, lakini wakati mwingine tunapanda mafundi ni mwepo. We fail or people fail to do their duties properly. Watu shindo kufanya kazi yao inavyopaswa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People don't work hard. Watu wafanye kazi kwa bidii. They relax. Wanatulia tu. How we together? Uh -huh. They just relax and throw tantrums. Wanatulia pale na kulalamika tu. Huh? They throw what? Tantrums. Wanalalamika tu. You are in the office. Uko ofisini. Always complaining. Unangungunika na kulalamika. Sometimes even you are, you you, just, yani, you you go to an office and then you find someone is sleeping. Unaenda kwa ofisi unapata mtu amelala. While all others are working. Wakati wengine wanafanya kazi. I've gone to one of the offices. Nishaenda ofisi moja. I went to one of the offices. Nishaenda ofisi moja. And I won't go I was going to meet you know, to meet one of the you know one of the sisters. Nilikuwa mmoja kwa mmoja na mmoja. Because of a specific issue. Kwa sababu ya kitu fulani. But when I went to the office. Nilipofika ofisini pale. Yes. Eh. Somebody was there. Kulikuwa na mtu pale. But she was in a dreamland. Alikuwa na amelala na hata. But it is a, it is an office. Ani ofisini and it was an office which had so many people ani ofisi ambayo ina watu wengi others were busy wengine walikuwa wanafanya kazi so i was kubidi. asking how many believers are in this office nikajiuliza ni waamini wangapi wa my brother kubidi. and my sister ndugu yangu na dada one of the key thing jambo moja ambalo ni that will activate favor in your life ambalo utafanya kibali maisha ni mwako is when you work hard ni ukifanya kazi and kubidi. because the grace of god is upon you na kibali cha mungu kwa you are boss you will notice mkubwa wako ataweza kutambua and you will have a salary increment na utapata kuongezwa mshahara even before other get their salary increment praise the name of the living god Hallelujah. so joseph yusuf worked hard alifanya kazi kwa bidii praise the name of the living god Hallelujah. so i want to tell us people in this church nataka kuambia watu kanisani if you are a member in this church kama ni mmoja wetu hapa or a believer there ama muamini pale wherever you are mali popote for you to activate god's favor ili kufanyisha kibali cha mungu kazi work hard fanya kazi kwa bidii and be honest na uwe mwaminifu in all that you do kwa kile yote yote ufanyaye praise the name of the living god Hallelujah. the other key thing is attitude Jambo lingine ni ile tabia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How is your attitude? Tabia yako ni ipi? To your boss. Kwa kuba wako. How is your attitude? Kwa hiyo tabia yako ni ipi? To other subordinates or other equals or the people that you work together. Kwa wale wengine unaofanya nao kazi. Your attitude will determine your altitude. Tabia yako itafanya itaamua ita utaenda kiwango gani. Or your kani. attitude will determine how far you will go. Kibali yani eh, 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 tabia yako itaamua utaenda mbali gani. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's have good attitude. Tuwe na tabia ambayo inafaa. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. 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 So if your attitude is good, kama uko na tabia nzuri and you are working hard, na unafanya kazi kwa bidii like Joseph, kama Yusuf, your boss will notice you. Mkubwa wako atakutambua. Your supervisor will notice you. Anayekuangalia atakutambua. Your director will notice you. Kurugenzi wako atakutambua. And he or she will promote you. Na atakukweza to go to where you belong. Kuingia mahali ambapo unastahili. You may be anointed. Unaweza kuwa umepakwa mafuta. You may come here and we pray for favor. Unaweza kuja hapa tuombe kibali. Jehovah bless them with favor. Bariki na kibali. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But when you go to your office. Lakini unapenda kule kazini. And you do otherwise. Unafanya kinyume. Hallelujah. What will happen? Itakuwa vipi? You will get a warning letter. Utapata barua ya kukuonya. And then you start wondering. Anza kuchanga. Hallelujah. Na bishop alikuwa anahubiri habari ya favor what has happened. Eh tulikuwa tunahubiriwa kibali kulienda vipi? Hallelujah. It's because of the attitude. Ni sababu ya wewe tabia zako. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Number three. Jambo la tatu. Sacrificial giving activates divine favor. Kutoa kwa kujitolea uachilie kibali cha Mungu. Sacrificial giving activates divine favor. Kutoa kwa kujitolea uachilie kibali cha Mungu. Second Chronicles chapter 1. Uh, mambo ya nyakati ya pili ya kwanza. Sacrificial giving activates divine favor. Kujitolea kwa uh, kujitolea kuwa kuna achilia kibali cha Mungu. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles chapter 1 from verse 6 to 7 Mambo ya nyakati uh, 2 Chronicles 1 verse 
and Solomon went up there to the bronze altar before the Lord which was at the tabernacle of meeting and offered a thousand burnt offering on it on that night God appeared to Solomon and said to him ask what shall I give to you Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. 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 Maybe you can, you can interpret. And Solomon went up there to the bronze altar. Uh, before the Lord. Which was in the tabernacle. Of the meeting. And he offered a thousand burnt offerings. On that night. God appeared to Solomon. And he said to him. Ask what, what shall I give to you. So the Bible says. This is Solomon. He was king over Israel. And because now he was a king, the Bible says he offered a thousand burnt offerings. A thousand bulls. Not one. Not two, not three, but one thousand. And the Bible says, because he gave it to the Lord from the bottom of his heart. Hallelujah. That night, God did not just, you know, God it moved the heaven. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. He activated heaven. And the Bible tells me. God came and asked him. Solomon. What do you want? In case he had not sacrificed. Do you think God would have come? No. But he gave. And the Lord came down. And I want to tell us some of you have been so faithful. You have been giving so sacrificial unto the work of the Lord and to the servants of God. You have been giving your services. You have been giving you love people. You have been doing good things. It is my prayer in the name of Jesus. May your giving activate heaven and may it bring God's blessings in the name of Jesus. Some of you are so faithful with your offerings. You are so faithful with your tithes, with your thanksgiving offerings, all kind of offering. May the heavens be opened up before you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when he did that, the Bible tells me God came with a blank check. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He came with what? A blank check. Solomon. Solomon. This is the check. Write what you want. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May that happen to me. May that happen to you. May that happen to this church. That the Lord, before we move out, before we finish the service, the Lord will tell you just write what you want. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who do you have? You know, he was astonished. He didn't know what to do. If the Lord told you today, to write what you want what will you write the bible tells me he asked for wisdom and knowledge to rule God's people if it was someone hallelujah so it is good to serve others when you serve others the Lord will serve you praise the name of the living God Hallelujah. so God released his blessing and Solomon became the wisest man in the world we remember Genesis 4 4 the Bible says and Abel also brought an offering 
Fat portions from some of the firstborn of his flock. The Lord looked with the favor at Abel and his offerings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In other words, when Abel gave, he activated the favor. Yani Mungu, yani Abeli akatoa sadaka yake. Akatoa ile ambayo ilikuwa nono. Akatoa ile imbayo ilikuwa ni kubwa. Praise the name of the living God. And the Bible says, sema, God looked him with the favor. Mungu kamtazama kwa kibali. It is my prayer in the name of Niyo Jesus. Because of your faithfulness. Kwa sabi, wa wa. May the Lord tilt his face upon you. Uzo, and may uzo he uzo 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 look you with the favor. Kwa kwa in the name of Jesus. To the glory of his holy name. Katika jina la Yesu. So you can activate favor by being faithful, being a faithful giver. Unaweza fanyisha kazi kibali. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, this week I went somewhere. And when I was coming back, a friend of mine gave me a story. He told, told me a story. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not going to mention names. But uh, one of the ministers of the gospel who is a pastor of a particular church. It happened that his bishop, bishop's cars had an accident. And it was written off. And he stayed without a car for a while. And that person invited his bishop to, his, to the church. The bishop was surprised. That pastor gave out his car to the bishop. And he went home by foot. Hallelujah. He just went back home. He didn't have a car. And he said, I cannot see that my bishop is walking going to church without a car and yet I have a car hallelujah that activated God's favor within a short time hallelujah I don't want to say who but people who matters visited the church. They happened to hear the story. story. And they, I, I don't know how. And they said, today, this pastor must have a car. And he got a new car. Hallelujah. He had given his car. Go give the logbook and everything. But God saw in heaven the heart of that servant of God. May we have a heart that serve God faithfully. That God in his own way he will look us with the favor in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Bible says give and it shall be given unto you. A good measure pressed down shaken together shall men and women give unto your bosoms praise the name of the living God Hallelujah. for what you sow is what you reap all those who have been sowing may you receive now for the harvest time I mean the harvest time I mean your harvest time your season of harvest time has come in Jesus name number four prayer and fasting activates divine favor amen which was the first one Hallelujah, the first one. You walk in what? You walk in holiness and righteousness. 
Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. So number four is prayer and fasting activates divine favor. Last week, I spoke about Esther. Esther. And Esther, Na Esther provoked favor when he told the Jews to fast and pray. And when they prayed, when they fasted, when she went to the to king's access, everything changed. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Whatever was impossible became possible. I want us to look at Nehemiah who prayed and fasted and activated God's favor. Nehemiah 2.4 this is Nehemiah. Nehemiah. He got a report, a report that the walls of Jerusalem were broken down. When he got that report, he did not just go to repair the wall. He didn't have the resources. There are some of you who have no resources. There are things that you want in life. There are levels that you want to do to go. There are things that you want to do. But let me tell you, the only way by the grace of God God will open doors is when you seek the kingdom of God. For the Bible says Seek the kingdom of God first and its righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you. So after praying and fasting, Nehemiah went before the king and this is what he was told by the king. Verse 4 of Nehemiah chapter 2 verse 4. The king said to me, that is Nehemiah. What is, it, what is it you want? Then I prayed to God of heavens. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> you see, no, no. this is Nehemiah. Only Nehemiah. He is before the king. You and before he is before the king, the, key, the king asked him, what do you want? Unataka nini? Some of us would go direct to what we want. But the Bible says Nehemiah prayed. How he prayed, I have no idea. Maybe it was a silent prayer. But remember, this is the second prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Then I prayed to God of heaven. And I answered the king. If it pleases the king and if it is your servant has found favor in your sight. Yeah, let him send me to the city in Judah where my ancestors are buried so that I can rebuild it. I also said to him, if it pleases the king, may I have letters to the governor of trans Euphrates so that they will provide me self-conduct uh, self -conduct until I arrive in Judah. This is the story and the requests that uh, Nehemiah is asking. And may I have a letter to Asaph, keeper of the royal park, so he will give me timber to make beams of the gates uh, of citadel by the temple and for the city wall. So he is praying. Anaomba. No, he is asking. And after that, listen to the last one. Which is very, very crucial. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, and for my residence. 
where I will occupy. Because the gracious hand of God was with me, the king granted the request. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. This is Nehemiah. Nehemiah. And he is praying. After prayer, he asked the king, kindly help me with resources. Help me with the timber to go and build the, the walls of Jerusalem. And not only that, even my house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have been building the work of God. God is building your house. I believe by the grace of God. God is releasing resources that you need that from wherever you are because you have desired to do the work of God faithfully. As you do the work of God, God will remember you. And he said, it is not about the king. It is not about me. It is about God. Because when he prayed, hallelujah, hallelujah, Favor was activated and the king favored him. Would he have gotten the money? or the resources if he didn't pray and went to the king no there are places that you need to go pray and fast so in our Christian life we must make our prayer life you know prayer uh, make prayer your lifestyle for the Bible says draw near to God and he will draw near to you from this week, that is from tomorrow, we'll be praying and fasting. For those who are online, you can join up with us. For the next seven days, we'll be praying together. So come here on Monday through Sunday. And I believe by the grace of God the Lord will hear us and he will release the favor that we need in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the living God. Let's pray for God to activate his divine favor that the Lord may guide us throughout this year that the Lord may protect us the purpose of praying in January is that we may begin with God and continue with God for his eyes will be upon us praise the name of the living God so as I finish my prayer as a church is is that you may activate divine favor by walking in righteousness and holiness in the name of Jesus. You can activate divine favor by being honest and working hard. You can activate divine favor by giving sacrificially. Hallelujah. You can activate divine favor by prayer and fasting. May the favor of God praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. May the favor of God and the favor of men be upon your life. Oh my God. Do I have someone who is here? I'm saying may the favor of God may the favor of men be upon your life in Jesus' name. May God's divine favor usher you into a season of unlimited harvest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May the Lord lead your family. May the Lord usher your family into a season of unlimited harvest in the name of Jesus. May the Lord lead this church. May the Lord lead this church. May the Lord lead you wherever you are in the name of Jesus, may God's divine favor usher us right now in the name of Jesus to the divine harvest, a season of harvest in the name of Jesus. May we please stand up in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.
Father, I want to thank you. May you bless your people with favor in the name of Jesus. May the favor of God be activated in our lives. May you bless your people with favor in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, through the Holy Spirit of God, help us to activate the favor, oh God, that come from you. May favor Jehovah release divine supply. May the favor of God release divine protection in the name of Jesus. May favor release peace in the name of Jesus the peace that surpasses all man understanding in the name of Jesus to the glory of your holy name the one that is sick now I speak healing over your life I speak healing over your life I speak healing over your life in the name of Jesus if you have no peace and you have been disturbed in the whole of this week. I speak release. I speak release of God's favor upon you. And may the peace of God be your portion in the name of Jesus. Oh God. Oh God. Release unlimited favor and divine harvest in the lives of your people. In Jesus' name we pray. And we say amen. And we say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. And may the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you. And be gracious to you. And may the Lord, by his grace, turn his face toward your life. I say, may the Lord turn his face upon your life. And when he turns his face on you, may he give you peace that transcends all man understanding in Jesus' name. See you next week, same time, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.